I've been a journalist at the Star for 20 years, and that was something that I've been covering. And I knew I wanted to go deeper on it. Kind of like Seven Fallen Feathers was a deeper exploration into colonialism, broken treaties, and Indian residential school. I could see the same patterns with suicide and with health care and the lack of health care and the lack of equity for Indigenous people. So I looked at Indigenous communities in Australia, in northern Norway, the Sami, um, in Sweden, Finland, Russia, Brazil, the Guarani people, and also America. So the book focuses on all those. It leans heavy on Canada in parts because that's sort of the thread of the narrative. Um, and if you've read Seven Fallen Feathers, you'll see some of the people that I introduce you to in that book go forward into the second book too. So it's all connected. Well, the cool things are the similarities, actually. Right. Um, you know, in Australia, for example, they had, um, they had residential schools called the mission schools. And they also scooped children. They called them the stolen generation from 1910 to 1970, which is the same thing that we had in Canada with the 60s scoop. And also, too, we had the residential school system here from the mid-1800s to 1996. So it's the same patterns that we see there. And it's the same in America as well. There were residential schools there. Um, children are also taken. Separation from the land in all of the countries, too, including for the Sami in um, the Arctic Circle, Scandinavia. It's the same thing. They actually have residential schools, too. They're just going right now through the um, truth and reconciliation process, actually, in Norway. All of the indigenous nations are connected that way, if you look at it. All children are taken from their language, their culture, their families, put into schools to be assimilated. And from there, you could see the social ills just sort of falling forward. And as a result of all of those things, you know, people being marginalized, people, children growing up without the determinants of health, like safe housing and water and food and, you know, a parent that tells them they belong and that they're, you know, they're loved. You see high suicides in all of those groups.